Welcome back, everybody. Today we'll be talking about three small, pocketable, keychainable, almost multi tools. Um, I carry my keys on a nine ties G clip. This is kind of a medium sized one. You can go to Lowe's, AutoZone, a couple other places, find these, look this up on Amazon. That's what I put my keys on. And then I usually carry this tool. A Victorinox mini champ on it I carry it on the last end of the hook so if I need to take this off I don't have to remove the keys but this just clips to my belt loop on the front of my pants or side of my pants or wherever's out of the way the most and carry this on my keys we'll start with this guy scoot you two over this is made by Victorinox which is a company that has been making Swiss Army knives since like the 1800s. Phenomenal brand. I highly recommend anything they make. They all they make everything they make is good. Let's go into the tools of this little guy. See what we got here. Do 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 do. There we go. We have what they call a cuticle pusher. It is a slightly rounded uh, piece of metal here for nail maintenance, you know, doing stuff like that. I like to call it the, the mini shovel. I, I've used this for digging some stuff out. This stuff, this little guy is awesome. Just a little flat, small pry bar without being a flat head. So that little bit of a curve is nice. I don't know what it is, but this little guy has been super handy a, a lot of times. Um, fold that one up. We have a ruler. Yeah, it's kind of a gimmick that multi tools have rulers on them. I'm trying to not get glare on this. But you can see like centimeters on that side and nothing on that side. But it comes with a little flat head. Doubles as like a small Phillips, too, the way that's shaped. That's wonderful how they do that. That little guy's awesome. Uh, kind of just your basic small pry bar. Up next we have the fingernail file and this guy is super abrasive super good and then the pointy end for digging dirt out of your fingernails if you have that very handy little tool good at poking too like if you got to undo knots if you're working with ropes a lot you know that gets in there and you can un, you know wiggle the knot loose that's awesome um, we have here the partial parcel opener little clamshell plastic clamshell opener made out of metal for opening plastic drag that along your boxes oh if you're opening boxes and packages and bags you know that guy is absolutely amazing i've used this guy a lot and it also has kind of a sharpened edge focus been a while since i've said ask the camera to focus there we go kind of has like a little chisel grind there which is good at scraping stuff do not use that on your S on your phone cards because you may scratch too deep. That would not be fun. We have a small knife. Yes, this tool is small, but this is a small blade for this tool. You'll see the other knife blade in just a minute. But this is a good saver tool if you've got to like make a small cut to get a splinter out or something. Very, very handy. On the back side, we have immediately the big blade. So let's open up the two knife blades together and you can see what we've got working here like that small one I said as you can see is small that is tiny compared to the other knife blade this is your normal mini Swiss Army knife blade very handy super sharp uh, next up is the screwdriver and bottle opener there's a running joke in the EDC community that if it has a bottle opener it is a multi-tool. If it does not have a bottle opener, it's not a multi-tool. And then we have like an electronics wire wire stripper. That thing works. I'll, I'll vouch for that. If you've got small wire and you're strip, trying to strip it to make a connection, that, that works super good. Then we have a small Phillips head. Super handy little guy. All on a nice little... Uh, split ring. This thing is super solid. This hard to pull this apart. You're not going to lose this guy if this goes on your keys. You'll lose your keys before you lose this. My particular model is in the aluminum A-locks. 
scales. Scales are the shell of the knife. Now, the normal mini champ comes with plastic scales, which has the classic uh, tweezers and toothpick. You can get flashlight and pin on some models. Very nice. So we'll set that off to the side because that's all that there is on that. Next up is another little tool that I love. The Leatherman Style CS. I love scissors. These are awesome little scissors. Excuse me, I got just enough uh, mucus in the back of my nose that's making me talk funny. We have a small knife blade, the Style PS, which is pliers instead of scissors. It has a smaller pair of scissors in place of the knife blade to make it more travel friendly. Not guaranteed TS. Now, this is the thing. This is not TSA approved. This uh, is technically TSA approved by their guidelines, and so is the other one. But by it having it, this one having a knife, or the other one looking like it could have a knife, the TSA agent's discretion may allow you to carry it, may not allow you to carry it. You know, carry at your own risk. A uh, small pair of tweezers, much like the Victorinox. I think Victorinox did the tweezers a little better than this. I think, I think Leatherman has a little ways to go there. We have a very good nail file, flathead Phillips combo. This is an awesome little tool. Now, I bought an aftermarket piece that goes into the pommel here. Screws into the pommel on both sides. And this allows me to use... The Leatherman bit system that just clicks right in there and now I've got an EDC screwdriver that's a little bit more leverage than just holding the plain um, ratchet by itself trying to undo screws. This is an awesome little combo. They're about the same size, co similar color variations, you know it's very aesthetic. I think it works good, looks good. It's awesome. Style CS is a very awesome little tool coming in at about 30 bucks on Leatherman's website. I got this on eBay for way cheaper. You know, pair these two guys up, you are almost unstoppable. My favorite of the small multi tools, which as you can see, small multi tools are usually about that big. And then you get the normal multi tools like Victorinox guy here. Power Pine comes in somewhere in between. Power Pint, everything on it, to me, after having used it for two years, I caught on to this in like the first month or so, but everything on here, to me, is one hand opening. You know, you fan it all out, you figure out the tool you want, you open that up all the way, and if you want to close it one-handed, on the knife side, you get under the uh, eyeglass screwdriver wannabe here, and you lift that up, and then you just close the knife. On the other side, if you're doing the scissors, um, if you've got the scissors out, you can get under the bottle opener and close the tool. If you've got the uh, serrated edge open, then you can just kind of come around, over, open, close. If you Also, if you've got uh, the serrated edge out, just trying to show the one-handed ability here, you could come in and un get under the can opener and close the tool. Super awesome little guy. Good plier size. It's almost a full size plier head in a small compartment. It's so good. Pair this up with scissors. You've got yourself an awesome combo. Scissors on this are quite good, but they are small. If you want a little bit bigger, you know, go with the style. But these are very good scissors. Nothing wrong with them. And if they do lock, and you can use the lock bar there on the back to close. Um, again, what I love about this is if you work with screws and bits all the time, it holds the Leatherman ratchet system there. Awesome combo. Similar length and size. Very aesthetic. I do think, I do consider aesthetics in my EDC. This is awesome. Carry the Leatherman bit kit on hand. Or part of the bit kit, you know, just a handful of the bits that you would come across most often. Or carry the full bit kit in your pocket, however you want. You've got yourself an awesome, awesome carry. All three of these tools, do not quote me on this because I'm no lawyer. But all three of these tools should be legal pretty much anywhere you go 
in the US. Uh, this one is not in Europe because it locks. It has a knife locking knife blade. A lot of places in Europe you cannot have a locking knife blade. That sucks, but that's life. But here in the US, maybe Canada, pretty much anywhere you go, these are not illegal to own. These are perfectly viable tools for your getting you through your day-to-day -day tasks, whether you're opening boxes, uh, filing stuff down. You know, all three of these are awesome uh, self-grooming tools. If you're working on your fingernails and stuff all the time, any one of these are super good to have. Keychainable are these two. Pocketable is this. It's very small. It's not heavy. It's an awesome tool. This is the SOG Power Pint. And, and, you know, that reminds me, I should re-clarify if you've made it this long and you forgot. This is the Victorinox Mini Champ. This is the Leatherman Style CS. Put PS at the end and you've got pliers. This is the SOG Power Pint. Can come in a black washed version. Super cool looking. Awesome tool. I know people say the quality control from SOG is not great. I will agree. I was lucky enough to get a gem from them. If you order a tool and it does not come right to you, send it back, ask for another one. They should replace it. That being said, I think if you bought all three of these, you could carry all three of these and it would be awesome on your belts, on your pockets, in your keychains. On your pockets and your keychains. I got that backwards. In your pockets, on your keychains. Work with me here, tongue. <laughs> um, but I have, I have put this guy through two years of hard use. And it has come through like a tank. It is coming through smelling like roses. This guy is amazing. For 40 bucks, you cannot go wrong. I've had this one for just over six months now incredible tool <clears throat> excuse me um i've had this one for a month or so now still getting used to it excuse me incredible tool any one of these three i will highly recommend if you've never had a multi-tool before and you don't want to go big like you know this jumbo swiss tool x you know i understand this is a big boy but i'm a big boy i like big boy tools you know i'm fine with carrying that if you're new to multi-tools and you want to know where to start, I highly recommend starting with one of these three, if not all of these. They're all incredible. They're all worthwhile. This one is the priciest coming in at $60. It's worth it. I've carried it every day on my keys. It is handy. It's useful. It's not gimmicky. None of these tools are gimmicky. You look at some multi-tools and you're like, hey, I don't know if that would work. The only gimmicky thing about this is, this is the supposed protractor on that, but that's not necessarily a built-in feature of the tool. They're just taking advantage of the way it's built. Anyways, thank you for listening to me rant. I hope you found this information useful. And if you stick around, that would be muchly appreciated. Subscribe to my channel. I'll try to put up some more content in the future. I don't know how regular it'll be. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.